now we will see about the visceral leishmaniasis which uh, is commonly also known as kala jor this is very common in jharkhand bihar and uh, west bengal also it is a uh, common disease uh, but more common in the uh, bihar and the jharkhand uh, and popularly known as the kala jor so this visceral leishmaniasis is caused by the leishmania donovani leishmania infantum and the leishmania chagasi out of these the donovani and the infantum are called as the old world species while the chagasi is a new world species okay so old world species and the new world species <coughs> now coming to the life cycle so uh, life cycle will be described in various points the first of which is the host so the the leishmania parasites uh, have two hosts one is the vertebrate host and the other one is the invertebrate host so the vertebrate host is man and the invertebrate host is a female sand fly is the female sand fly the infective form is the promastigote form which appears like this this is the promastigote form while the diagnostic form is the amastigote form which appears like this this is the amastigote form and is the diagnostic form so we will diagnose it by seeing at this amastigote form while uh, the uh, the sand fly or the uh, you know the parasite will infect a person by this form this is the promastigate form okay now coming to the mode of transmission of this infection of leishmania so this is uh, transmitted by the bite of an infected female sand fly and uh, while biting she discharge discharges the pro goods into the skin of the human okay so that is the mode of transmission of that leishmania now how does it develop in human so the pro goods which are released into the skin those enter into the skin macrophages by binding to a lipophosphoglycan lpg to macrophages so macrophages have lipophosphoglycan to that the promastigotes bind and they enter inside those macrophages after the entry inside the macrophages the promastigote transforms into amastigote the amastigotes multiply uh, and increase in the number okay so promastigotes transform into amastigote and amastigot multiply and increase in number the macrophages get ruptured uh, and those amastigot amastigots which uh, have you know which are crowded inside the macrophages those amastigots are released into the circulation this so this is the whole development that occurs inside a human body after that the those amastigotes which are in the circulation with the bite of the or with the blood meal of the uh, sand fly these amastigotes from the blood again enters in the in, in into a new sand fly or a fresh sand fly okay who was not earlier infected so now that uh, uh, with the blood meal amastigote enters into another uh, sand fly and there the amastigote gets converted into promastigote and further the cycle repeats the promastigot again enters by the bite of the sand fly to another person so this is the whole cycle that continues and the life cycle of the promastigot also i mean the life cycle of the leishmania also continues so what is the clinical feature of the kalajar or the visceral leishmaniasis the clinical feature of kalajar or the visceral leishmaniasis is the is are these five uh, features these five features are very notable features and very uh, uh, specific of this Kalajar disease okay so the features are the fever with chills and rigor hepatosplenomegaly progressive weight loss hyperpigmentation hypergamma globulinemia these are the five cardinal features of the Kalajar or the visceral leishmaniasis so once we see this this type of symptoms from a boy uh, or a girl coming from a um, district which is very much uh, uh, 
इंडेमिक नोन फॉर इंडेमिसिटी ऑफ कालाजर इन इन एनी वन ऑफ द झारखंड और बिहार स्टेट्स देन वी हैव टू सस्पेक्ट द कालाजर सो दैट्स हाउ द क्वेश्चन विल आल्सो बी आज लाइक अ पेशेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम बिहार और झारखंड विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ सिम्टम्स एंड यू हैव टू नो दैट दोज स्टेट्स आर वेरी मच इंडेमिक फॉर द कालाजर बाय दैट यू कैन डायग्नोज द कंडीशन क्लिनिकली देन वी विल गो फॉर द लैब डायग्नोसिस वेयर वील फर्स्ट सी द स्पेसिमेन कलेक्शन सो द प्रिफर्ड स्पेसिमेन दैट वी चूज फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द कंडीशन इज द स्प्लेनिक एस्पिरेशन सो इट हैज़ अ वेरी एक्सलेंट सेंसिटिविटी अबाउट मोर देन नाइन्टी एट परसेंट सेंसिटिविटी ओके सो स्प्लेनिक एस्पिरेशन इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सैम्पल दैट वी कलेक्ट अदर दैन दैट वी कैन डू द बोन मैरो एस्पिरेशन लिम्फ नोड एस्पिरेशन एंड पेरीफेरल ब्लड कैन ऑल्सो बी टेकन फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ओके लिव दिस एल डी बॉडी वी विल सी द एल डी बॉडी लेटर ऑन सो कमिंग टू द डायरेक्ट डिटेक्शन ओके कमिंग टू द डायरेक्ट डिटेक्शन बाई माइक्रोस्कोपी सो स्मेयर इज सो द स्मेयर इज प्रिपेयर ऑन अ स्लाइड with the different aspirates so we have collected uh, the bone marrow aspirate the splenic aspirate the lymph node aspirate with whatever aspirate that we have uh, collected with that aspirated fluid we will make a smear and that smear will be stained with a ramanov sky stain which is a lisman stain or the gym size stain so with these two stains we will stain that smear and uh, then we will do the examination okay then the examination is done so uh, in examination we try to detect the ld bodies because the detection of ld body is the gold standard method for the diagnosis of the kalazar now come to the definition of the ld body so what is ld body bro the ld body is a intracytoplasmic the ld body is a intracytoplasmic non flagellated amastigotes within the macrophages okay so simply they are the amastigotes inside the macrophages those amastigotes which are inside the macrophages those are called as the ld body and detection of those um, uh, those amastigotes inside the macrophages is the gold standard method for the diagnosis of kalajar or the visceral leishmaniasis so uh, whenever you are asked in viva or anywhere in the class to define uh, ld body then you have to say that the ld bodies are the intracytoplasmic non flagellated amastigotes within the macrophages this is the complete definition of the ld body now coming to the direct uh, now coming to the examination part so we have made a smear we have stained the smear and now we are going to see the ld body so ld bodies can be identified by looking for the macrophages so in the smear we will look for a macrophages which is filled with amastigotes the lesmania amastigotes can be well appreciated as they have a nucleus and a rod separate kinetoplast that is a mitochondrial dna so this is a diagram of the ld body see here this is a uh, this is a macrophage this is the nucleus of the macrophage and these are the amastigotes filled inside the macrophages some of the amastigotes are living out are present outside also this red colored thing inside the amastigotes uh, is the nucleus and uh, be, uh, beside or the just uh, uh, lateral to the uh, nucleus there is a rod separate structure that is called as the kinetoplast which is nothing uh, but the mitochondrial dna so kinetoplast is formed by the mitochondrial dna so suppose this is a amastigote then this is the nucleus okay this is nucleus and this is the kinetoplast okay so if this is a if this is a amastigote then this is nucleus and this is the amas uh, this is the kinetoplast which is made by the mitochondrial dna okay these structures are filled inside the macrophages and when these structures are filled in the macrophages it is called as the ld body hence we have said 
that LD bodies are the diagnostic forms. Okay. Now coming to the culture. So coming to the culture. Uh, for culturing, we need certain media. So for the culturing of the LD, uh, for the culturing of that Lesmania, we need Novi McNeil Nicol medium, triple N medium. Remember this media, okay? This is a triple N media. So we need triple N media for the culturing of the uh, Lesmania. Other than that, we need Snyder's Drosophila insect medium. We also need Snyder's Drosophila insect medium, okay? Snyder's Drosophila insect medium. What is the procedure? The, so the procedure is that a specimen is inoculated into any one of those uh, above media. Then the culture is incubated at 26 degrees centigrade. And then we will examine it every week for up to four weeks. What do we see? Uh, and at every uh, week, up to four weeks, at after end of every week, we will make a, a smear. Okay. And... Uh, what happens in on that culture media is that the amastigotes which were present in the blood in the inside the macrophages those will be converted into the pro mastigote on that media itself so uh, a smear is made from the culture and if we see pro mastigotes into that uh, uh, media or into that smear okay we will stain it we will stain the smear which is made from with the blood or with the aspirate then no 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 sorry we will uh, made the uh, we will made the smear with the culture okay with the uh, colonies which are present over the culture media and then we will st stain those smears with the gymsa stain and if the pro mastigotes form is seen under microscope that means there was growth of lesmania amastigotes okay so by that we can detect the lesmania other than that we have the antibody detection in the serum okay we can go for antibody detection in the serum so that is detected by the direct agglutination test in which we do the serial dilution of patient serum on a micro titer plate we have seen uh, you you must have been see, you must have seen the um, uh, the micro titer plate the ELISA in the biochemistry lab that is the ELISA uh, that is used in the for ELISA okay the same kind of micro titer plate is used here also so we will take the patient serum and serial dil we will serially dilute the patient serum and the extract from the Lesmania Donovani amastigotes is added on that micro titer plate that extract that extract is available from outside okay so that extract is added into that and we incubate it for 18 hours now what inference do we get if mat formation occurs or if button formation if occurs so two uh, two uh, possibilities are there either there will be a mat formation or there will be a button formation so if there is a mat formation that means there is agglutination present that means the antibodies against the lesmania are present in the patient serum okay that means specific antibodies are present in the patient serum and if button formation is uh, uh, occurring there that means agglutination is absent and there is no specific antibody in the patient serum so this indirectly will detect the infection with the lesmania okay, so this will indirectly detect the infection with lesmania and that was the serial dilution test now other than that uh, we have one more test for antibody detection that is the immunochromatographic test that is the ICT immunochromatographic test and here the antibody against the pro mastigotes are detected in the serum using the RK39 antigen using the RK39 antigen okay then we have some uh, this antigen is very important once it must remember this rk39 antigen this is us in mcqs also so uh, next is the molecular methods so there are some molecular methods also as occurs in all other uh, infections as well so here also pcr nested pcr real time pcr can be used for the diagnosis of the uh, for the detection of the 
for the detection of those you know uh, genes of the Leishmania. Next is the Leishmanian test, Montegro test. This is not done so commonly, but yes, if for the epidemiological study, this can be done. Okay, so Leishmanian test or the Montegro test. What do we do in that? Uh, we kill the Leishmania donovani first. Leishmania donovani promastic goats. Uh, those and those killed promastic goats are injected into the skin. If delayed hypersensitivity it is seen, then the test is called positive. And we can inter uh, we can in draw inter uh, inference that uh, in that prior infection was there with Leishmania donovani. So we can draw uh, inference of prior infection with Leishmania donovani. But if there is no delayed hypersensitivity, the test is regarded negative. Okay, so this is uh, all about the Leishmania donovani and the I mean Leishmania. Uh, visceral leishmaniasis we have read about the uh, causative agents the the clinical features the life cycle and the lab diagnosis of the visceral leishmaniasis